Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Barely Necessities, LaughingPlace.com's Disney merchandise show, where Rebecca Burbank and I, Rebecca Mosley, take you around the world of Disney things, all those gadgets and gizmos that you, uh, you know, you want desperately, you need maybe a little bit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how you been, Becca? I've been well. How about you? Uh, it's been a it's been a fun day. I've been um, horribly distracted um, by a new uh, game drop that has happened. There's this game called Sea of Thieves, and they dropped today a a release that is uh, has Jack Sparrow, and oh. it, it's like I guess um, five or six tall tales, and you solve each adventure in this, and it, it's loosely based on like the the film and the attraction. And I am no gamer, so I've got this Twitch stream running, and I'm following this uh, crew of pirates as, as they do this game. It's a lot of fun. It sounds fun. Yeah, so I, I, like, I like playing, but sometimes it's it's more entertaining to watch other people. I'm, te I'm terrible. So, so therefore, I just, I, I, I've been watching that. But there's been so much exciting Disney merchandise uh hitting the uh, web, and today uh, on Good Morning America, they shared a lot of exciting information about the Walt Disney World 50th celebration, new fireworks, um, some new statues coming to the parks. We talked about all that this morning, so you can check that out, and it's also numerous articles here on Laughing Place, but right now we're going to focus on the books that they announced. Several new titles are coming, including A Portrait of Walt Disney World. And that looks this so pretty. This picture on the cover is gorgeous. The authors, um, Kevin Kern, Tim O'Day, and Stephen Van Mini are um, Tim. I'm familiar. I know I've known for a year, so I'm so excited to see he's involved with this project. And I've learned from others on our team that um, Kevin and Stephen are very uh, knowledgeable and passionate about Walt Disney World as well. So you know, I'm just really excited about what that can mean for uh, this coming title. And uh, you can pre-order it right now. We've got uh, information about it here at Laughing Place. I know that um, there'll be links um, down in the description as, as well. Uh, all of these titles are actually uh, in our current pre-order status and you will be able to pick them up uh, in, in September. Mm -hmm. uh, they also announced a recipe book is on its way along with a coloring book. Our own Jeremiah is very excited about this one. Are you an adult colorer, uh, Becca? I am not. I mean, it, go it comes and goes in phases, but there's definitely times where I'm like, I would really like to color. <laughs> yeah, so they've got this one co coming later this year. And then um, Burnbaum is going to have a special 50th anniversary uh, edition for the uh a vacation guide for both adults and children. And I need to figure out how to move this over because right now it's in my way. I need to figure out how to get Minnie's dress because I really like that dress. These iridescent colors are 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 growing on me. I was not a, an enormous fan when they first arrived on the scene, but, but I am uh, be becoming a, a fan. And uh, part of that Good Morning America announcement, we learned that we're going to see uh, these iridescent fashions on others as well. Goofy, Donald, Daisy. There was a little bit of a uh, red car uh, catwalk type uh, red carpet mm -hmm. stroll that they that they did uh, announcing some of this fun that's coming for Disney World's 50th. Over at Shop Disney, uh, they have a new emo sale going on. Yes. Just it's a limited time sale. I don't know when it's going to end, but right now, if you use the code NUEMOS at checkout, you can buy two items and get one free. And it applies to the plush, to the outfits, to the accessories. So it's a great time to start or grow your collection. We were we were debating whether or not to get something yesterday. We were looking at Winnie the Pooh and the Disneyland Paris Spirit jersey, and then we ultimately decided not to. <laughs> But oh. it was so close. We we almost we, we ordered the weighted plush instead. So ah, yeah. the weighted plush. Yeah, I haven't I, I haven't picked up any any of these yet. Uh, 
Hey, Caitlin and August and Lori and Marilyn. Thank you all for joining us. We appreciate it and uh, appreciate uh, Princess Marilyn. I apologize. Yes, Princess it's a pleasure Marilyn. to meet you too. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, if you've been thinking about jumping into the new emo fund right now, as Becca says, to get one at uh, Shop Disney. Um, you just disappeared on me. So uh -huh. I have to figure out what's going on with my screen. As I pause for a moment, there we go. Over um, with Kate Spade, they've announced some um, Alice in Wonderland merchandise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so that is sold out. I will say that right away, but isn't that the craziest thing? That's a purse. I That's a crossbody that. bag that opens at the top and then inside is the little like coin purse. And I kind of love it and hate it at the same time. I mean, I think it's really, really clever. I can't imagine carrying it around, but it's, there it's we go. so unique. I'm like, it's, that's so smart. <laughs> no, I love this idea of this clear bag that, that, that it has the hinge at the base. So it opens at the top like that. And then your little change purse can uh, drop in and out. What an interesting uh, choice. And for as cosplay and bounding mm -hmm. is so much more popular now, I, it, just a really neat design coming from um, Kate Spade. They also uh, have this, uh, I, is it a clutch? It seems a little big for a clutch, maybe a handbag. It's, yeah, I think it's more of a handbag. They have. Like, I know they had a tote and then, or maybe it's a crossbody as well with the handle. It is, um, it's a crossbody with a handle, you are correct. And then they also offer a uh, Cheshire Cat uh, medium backpack. Mm -hmm along with a Cheshire Cat wallet. Which I think that's currently sold out, but you can see why. I mean, it's so fun. <laughs> yeah. These designs are really gorgeous. Yeah. And with some of these, uh, keep up with uh, Kate Spade. And uh, sometimes we've seen kind of, it. they're limited in, not in necessarily in number, but it's like they'll do a short production mm -hmm. and then so it'll be sold out for a little bit. But sometimes you'll see it refresh and you'll see it uh, pop back up again. So it's a different type of uh, limited run um, than, you know, only 200 or, you know, are going to be going to be made. So uh, be sure to uh, check out Kate Spade if you are in the market for some uh, Alice in Wonderland handbags. Um, over in the realm of jewelry, Becca, you got to check out some uh, bracelets. I did. Yes. We talked about these last week, the uh, Lokai bracelets, but they sent them. Uh, we They asked if we wanted a sample, and I said, sure, and they sent me all of them. So, <sighs> so I wrote a little review, and that's up on the site, and there should be a link to that. But yeah, I have all six bracelets here as well, and they're I really like them. They're silicone. I thought they were going to be like a hard bracelet, but they're not. They're very like flexible and stretchy and with all the different colors. So they represent different animals. That I know there you had a poison frog yeah. and a peacock. The, yep. And, and then, the colors are really pretty. Aren't they? Yeah. So I've been having a lot of fun playing around with these and trying to, <sighs> trying to figure out like, okay, I would mix and match. I'd have my oranges and my my blues and then you know yeah one of the or things you... that they've done is they have what they call their adventurer stack and mm -hmm. that's the giraffe the zebra the the tiger they also have the um wild explorer stack and that's where you have your poison frog your peacock and your monarch butterfly i uh I found the poison frog to be the one that caught my eye the mm -hmm. um like the most along with the monarch. Yep. I um, would agree with that. <laughs> the other element that's unique to the loci, if you're not familiar with it as a brand, is that they have a uh, substance from the uh, Mount Everest and from the Dead Sea, right? You got and it. so they're representing the highest and uh, deepest point, well, lowest points on land to as a way of reminding you to keep a balance, to find a balance. So that's part of, of their, their branding. And these are uh, also have a found uh, like a 
element where it donates, right? A, a portion. Yes. Yeah. The, I believe it's 10% mm -hmm. of their, of the sales go to different charity partners. So if you get any of these photo arc ones, they're going to go to the uh, National Geographic Society. So yeah, so, you're doing yeah. some good. Beautiful uh, celebration of animals from National Geographic in partnership with uh, Loci. Um, over at um, Rock'em Socks, mm -hmm. we've got Americana Mickey socks uh, that have arrived. They are constantly putting out new socks. I mean, they already have Luca socks. They already have Cruella yep. socks. If you are a Disney fan and you en enjoy socks, let me just say that uh, <sighs> Rock'em Socks is the place you want to continue to uh, check out and have on your uh, browser uh, bookmarks. Yep, Which absolutely. one of these grabbed you, Becca? I like the flag, the blue, the one sock that's blue with the Mickey heads and then the red and white stripes. I think that's that's the first one I would go for. What about you? I was uh, partial to the fireworks with the uh, hidden hidden Mickeys here and here and there on them. Uh, once again, these are. I like the the quality of their socks. I actually have some of of their uh, socks I purchased. Uh, I want to say it was Mandalorian. Okay. Um, and I, uh, that's how I discovered them was through the, through the Mandalorian, but they've got, um, animate, they've got these little animated looking characters as well. Not only, um, the, uh, Mickey mouse, uh, imagery. Here's Doobie saying, <laughs> I want my face on socks. And you know what, Doobie, look, you can do that. Look, you can take <laughs> your picture and they'll put a face and Mickey mouse on your socks so that way if you forget what you look like you can just look at your feet <laughs> or if you forget what your kids look like <laughs> right right i i think somebody on survivor you know on survivor you're allowed like a um amenity product okay. uh so you can bring like one item with you on and i think somebody brought socks that had like a picture of their kids because i i you know so it was like they could i don't think you're allowed to bring photos but you're allowed to bring socks so they brought socks that had a photo. I oh, think was was how they how they dealt with that. So that's a really smart idea, right? <laughs> um, Marvel has some new figures coming out. Perhaps uh, did you guys talk about this maybe earlier this week, or did this uh, come out more recently? Um, these, yeah, we didn't get a chance to talk about about this on our Marvel time, but yeah, there's this Sandman. Um, figure that's part of the Marvel Legends Spider-Man series at uh, Hasbro and I thought this one was cool because it comes with the, of course the removable head and then the different arms and hands so you can you know really yeah like there he is he's just kind of that's that's where we started and well this is how it's going <laughs> so <laughs> I mean right <laughs> yeah no that's pr pretty much pretty much what's going on there and what's again this is one of those figures where it's got a lot of articulation along with various facial expressions and and, <laughs> and poses and as tony betty points out why does he have his it, coffee mug with his face on it yeah, yeah it definitely looks like that maybe that's the next thing they'll make is a coffee mug that's half <laughs> sandman head and you just <laughs> but i if if you're not familiar, I don't know much about the comics, but <laughs> this character Dude, can't handle. was in Spider-Man 3. So <laughs> he's a villain, but, you know, got to have a little, a little bit of fun. Oh, dear. And now that we've grossed out my husband, uh, let's move on over to the world of Star Wars, where we've got a variety of figures coming to us from Hasbro. Um, this first set is uh, what they're calling the Vintage Collection, mm -hmm. and it is a clone trooper, uh, Captain Rex over here in the cloak, the uh, crosshair as an, in an Imperial figure uniform, and then, um, where's my last note? Um, a, a clone trooper. Oh, just a clone trooper. Okay. So yeah, that's, so that's what I we've believe that's here. what it is. <laughs> yeah, no, I I have it I have it written down, but I think I've swapped my notes around, so I think I'm looking at something different than what I think. So let me move on to my next picture to see 
because I think this is my Amazon photo. And I'm right. This is my Amazon photo. Okay. And and so what I should say is that this is Captain Rex, a Captain Ballast, a clone Captain Gray, and an elite squad trooper. That's what we are looking at. And these are available from Amazon. They are an exclusive to Amazon at this time. You can learn more about it in the link that we have here at um, Laughing Place. Uh, you, there's a picture of them in their uh, box that with the Kenner mm -hmm. logo on it. Also coming to us from Hasbro is a collection of uh, with Captain Rex, Captain. Uh, I'm switching these two. I no, just no, you it's fine. I've I've not watched it. I'm like I'm. We're gonna talk about these because it seems like it's really important. And then I don't <laughs> quite know what what I'm talking about either. So. I, I switched it around again. Here, let me pull. Let me just here, Becca. You can. I'll 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 leave you up here for a moment while I grab the URL straight from our website. So I make sure that I share with everybody the correct information because I have swapped those around twice now no you're doing you're doing fine yeah this this collection we're going to be talking about next there's these are the individual like six inch figures that are part of the um star wars the black series and some of them are um the 50th anniversary of lucasfilm so there's a han solo luke skywalker and a greedo and i believe those are i believe all of these are available for pre-order but some are at Walmart, and when I clicked that link, it said it's sold out or out of stock, which I'm like, okay, that went really fast. I can't find it anywhere else. Um, but then others are available on Hasbro Pulse, and then the 50th anniversary Lucasfilm are, will be coming to Shop Disney, but I have not been able to find them in any searches since they announced this collection, even though so, they're already for pre-order at other so, places. So these are the Bad Batch 50th anniversary uh, Black Series ones. You've got the Clone Trooper. Um, you, you've got uh, Captain Rex. And then you have uh, Crosshair in the in Imperial uh, outfit. And then these are the Vintage Collection Star Wars Bad Batch. And as I said, that's a Clone Trooper Captain, a uh, Clone Trooper Rex, Captain Ballast clone Captain Gray, and an elite squad trooper. And then also, as part of this uh, article, we highlighted the upcoming uh, classic characters of uh, Greedo, Han Solo, and um, Luke Skywalker. Those are also coming to uh, yeah, it's in that as one. well. Mm -hmm. There they are, as part of that 50th anniversary. So these are the items that we have. There's see, Captain Rex is in both. Mm -hmm. So I so I kept swapping. The, no, kept it's swapping fine. I oh. I never understand why stuff is released the way it is, or why certain characters are part of certain collections. <laughs> and then you know, like the vintage series, they're the smaller, the smaller figures, which are supposed to be like the toys that we had when you know, long, long time yeah, ago. Yeah, totally. But yes, there's the, the Black series and then the Vintage series and then Marvel has its own Marvel Legends and then I'm sure there's all sorts of other stuff. So it's just... <laughs> and if you watch Omega Mondays, Mike Celestino was able to very eloquently and beautifully take you through what was different about those from previous releases or how it might differ from what you have at home. Um, so why it might be of interest to you if you're looking for Luke or Han or, or Captain Rex. So uh, check out Omega Monday, uh, where we were talking about those items earlier this week. Also this week on that, I like Doobie's little joke about how his must have arrived, um, must have been a bad match. Um, I feel like I'll Kyle's <laughs> used that joke too. Probably. Also this week, Geeky Tiki's. It has some new uh, Star Wars tiki's. These tiki mugs. These are um, $34.99. They have Tatooine, uh, Bespin, Endor, Dagobah, and Hoth. Um, one of my favorite images from these uh, tiki's is Hoth, where you can see there's Luke inside a tauntaun. I know. <laughs> I think I would get this one too because of, because of the the really cool images and also it's blue, so <laughs> so bizarre. I just, 
I love, I love the idea of just, hey, there's Luke hanging out in the Tauntaun. Right, okay. and then above him, you've got Han on the Tauntaun on as well. The Tauntaun. So it's just like the yeah, you've got the whole Tauntaun story right there. He, yeah. he got Han to where Luke was, and then he served as a as a sleeping bag. <laughs> yep. And uh, over here with Tatooine, you have the Sand People, the the Crawlers, a uh, little uh, silhouette of a. Uh, C-3PO and R2-D2 making their way to Jabba's palace. Uh, Bespin, the X-Wing with R2 and uh, the Millennium Falcon, as well as some of the uh, Bespin ships whose name is not coming to me, but there's some I sort know, of... I forget, too. It's a uh, twin pod. Twin pod. Yeah, okay, see, that's where my mind went to, but but I, I it, it's not there for sure. And with Dagobah, you have a Tiki Yoda showing a Tiki... Luke, how to balance <laughs> the force. So, you know, cute little uh, tiki representations of your uh, favorite Star Wars planets. And um, that's what we've got going on there. And that's a limited edition. Those are limited edition. So I believe there's only 1,500 of each. Piece. Thank you. Yes. So. Yeah. I think uh, um, some of them might be. Um, 1200 i think they yeah. actually in the release it showed a differing um number for for various designs so just keep that in mind and those um you can find more information of, about those here at laughing place um oh actually doobie mike c noticed that there were misspellings on them oh did so he? yeah in the arabesh <laughs> I, so I recognize I I didn't do that much research. I was like, okay, this yeah, I got that T A T O O. Okay, cool. And I think well, one of them was. I'm hoping it's the way the picture was taken. Yeah. So it's like that you couldn't tell, but what? Because one of them seems to just be like four letters worth a five letter name or no, it's uh, five letters where you think it's a six letter name, right? So hopefully it's just the way the the photo was taken to somehow you know missed it. And yes, it is an error. They had, so I don't know if you were or back at um, Star Wars weekends at Hollywood Studios, I got a pin for my, or name tag for myself in yes. Arabesh. And then I got one for my sister and her name is Leah. And so I, I got it and I was like, okay, everything looks cool. And I'm, I'm looking over it. And then I was like, pretty sure this says lean and so i was like okay before i leave before i give it to her and i mean nobody she nope. probably wouldn't totally care but yeah they so so even having spelled it out like they still hit the hit the wrong thing to but they they made me a brand new one i was Aww. like yeah so i guess it's just, you're not reading arabesh the way you read english I mean, yes, you are, but like, you know, unless you're looking at those, those symbols all the time. Yeah. You're right. Just, you're like, okay, it looks right to me. <laughs> I, I don't, I, I regret not getting one of those name badges. I never, I never ended up. I, what's really funny about it is I actually, um, stood in line and bought like five of them for friends in California oh. who wanted them and didn't even, and didn't even put one know. in for me. So I don't, I don't know why. So it's one of those things I think I took it, took for granted. It would always be there because, right. you know, just, it was there, it was there. And now I, I, I regret it. I'm kind of surprised that the whole name tag thing has subsided. I, I'm a little bit of me is hoping that maybe we'll see that come back with the 50th celebration of Walt Disney World, those little name badges that people, I, cause those were so cute, yeah. but, but I can understand things come and go and interest wane, but um, I guess we've made it through the bulk of our shopping list, so that means we get to uh, find out the Sensational 7. And with yesterday being the summer solstice, it was also National Sunlight Appreciation Day, and it led me to think on Mufasa and Simba and all that the light touches. So I went with a shopping list for The Lion King. And what I try and do is narrow it down to items that I loosely fit within the structure of Sleepy, Happy, Grumpy, Dopey, Sneezy, Bashful, and Doc. And we're going to start off with Sleepy. We've got these Lion King 
sheets available from uh, Shop Disney. Beautiful turquoise, yellows, Mm -hmm. inviting you to take a walk on the wild side. Nice place to rest your head. For Happy, this adorable totem with Pumba, Simba, Timon, Zazu. It feels like it just stepped right out of Can't Wait to Be King. Mm-hmm. Perhaps maybe they're singing Hakuna Matata. I don't know. Just make me happy. In the realm of Grumpy, I selected a scar shirt that says, Life's Not Fair. <laughs> Seems like a sentiment Grumpy might a- agree with. Yeah. yeah, I would think so. <laughs> Dopey, I go with the ridiculous or the wow, I... Um, Never thought I'd need that, but it's uh, appealing. And that is the, are you aching for some bacon? Okay. A reminder of the hula dance from the adorable Timon on a sweatshirt for you from Box Lunch. So if you're aching for some bacon, there you go. I like that. You, you can pick up a, a, sweat, a sweatshirt. Um, sneezy, you're often in need of something to hold your tissues when you have the sniffles like Sneezy does. So this Scar Cosplay mini backpack over at Entertainment Earth. Check out the interior on this. It's got this beautiful okay. pattern inside. It's got the catchphrase, yeah. I'm surrounded by idiots. So that's over at Entertainment Earth. Bashful, I often will select something that's a little bit subtle, right? Doesn't just scream, I'm a Lion King fan. So in this case, I went with a bangle. It's a nice bracelet. It has the uh, Simba icon that was drawn by Rafiki on the tree. So, you know, subtle, but yet you're, you're a fan of Lion King. And that's also over at Shop Disney. That's one of those Alex and Annie uh, bracelets. Mm-hmm. And finally, for Doc, I try and go classic, and we're sticking with the remember who you are. Classic moment from the film, box lunch, t-shirt. So there we go. That's my sensational seven from The Lion King. I like that. And this might be my favorite of your uh, themes, just like (laughs) coming up with the theme for, you know, National Daylight Appreciation Day. I love it. I (laughs) love it. I love the sun, so I, I, I was like, woohoo, we'll celebrate sunshine. That's what we'll do. That's oh, so, what we'll do. So good. Oh, thank you, Becca. I appreciate that. Um, just for all of you out here, Be- Rebecca is laughingplace.com site manager. She does an amazing job of keeping things up to date around here, keeping us on track. She also is the one who compiles all the data for me to pull the resources for today's uh, show. So she does a a, a lion's share of the work around here to uh, keep with the lion thing. Uh, apparently, Lion King is Tony Betty's favorite 2D animated film. Oh. And <laughs> as Judy says, bold choice. We had a discussion about this last night on Movie Club. Oh, Movie Club was amazing. <laughs> okay, once you see Luca, go over, check out the Laughing Place Movie Club, and just have a hoot. They chat about the film. They chat about other things. But it's just a lot of fun, all all, uh, inspired by the beauty that is Pixar's latest film, Luca, which is, I think, now my top three of of Pixar films. I'm not an enormous Pixar fan because they tend to be really heavy. So it's hard for me to call a film that is so, like, emotion, such an emotional coaster a favorite. So as far as, like, rewatchability... Whereas this one is just, it's light, it's beautiful, it's celebratory, it's emotional, it's not, you know, just a one note. But it, it it's uh, delightful enough, I am excited to revisit it. Yeah, I agree, I agree. So, that brings us to Rebecca's shopping list. We get to find out all those things that she's been working on along with the team here that we weren't able to talk about during today's show. I almost shared the Bad Batch Funkos, but I figured we already had a lot of Star Wars to talk about, and you have Omega Mondays. I'm like, okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna oversaturate here. But uh, the Funko Pop bobbleheads are now available on Shop Disney, and so those just came the other day. So those are there on, and then uh, coming up on Shop Disney, there's going to be a Stitch and Scrump collectible key set. It looks so cute. Yeah. And Be sure to coming, look at Laughing Place for that. 
that's coming 626, of course. So oh, of course. Saturday. And then there's also the uh, Disney Castle Collection Series 8 is Ariel. And that's going to be on Saturday as well. That one they're saying is releasing at 12 a.m. Pacific. So midnight on, Wake up. on the West Coast. I'm I every time we write about the castle collection, I feel like Disney changes their time. But <laughs> as of right now, it's midnight. <laughs> oh, we've got a fireworks collectible key pin coming on the fourth of July. And then of course there was a lot of Funko this week. If anybody watches Hulu's Letter Kenny, they've got four pops for the main characters. There's a jungle cruise, Frank Wolf from the upcoming film, so The Rock. Uh, Dwayne Johnson. And then there's two new Loki pops. If you've been following Loki, these characters came, um, had a bigger role in episode two. We've got a Miles Morales uh, Gamerverse figure available exclusively at GameStop. And then wow. Sensi teamed up with Walt Disney World, and I believe they're going to be the official home fragrance of Walt Disney World or something like that. So Yeah, and it was just a bit of a tease. It was, in essence, just a picture of the castle a acknowledgement that that relationship's about to start off and really nothing much beyond that for now. So we're, we're eager for more information. Yeah. I think that, yeah, the, there's an experience or something they said coming to fantasy land, but yeah, just like she said, like Rebecca said, just a tease. Yeah. So. Just a tease. Seems to be fantasy land was the, was the focus of this initial uh, partnership here. So we're interested to see where uh, that will uh, take us. And um I guess that's it for this week. We had so much to talk about. Um, there's always new stuff coming. Uh, Rock Love has teased that some lightsaber pendant crystal necklaces are, are on yeah. the way. Uh, like I say, this morning was the books that we started off the show with. So that, I mean, that just uh, was announced this, this morning. So constantly new items are making their way to our email boxes and we do our best to get that information out to all of you as soon as we can. And uh, I guess tonight here on Laughing Place at 7.30 will be Disney Trivia Live. Doobie and Gideon will be hosting two Disney comp com trivia quizzes. And I know that one of them is related to the parent trap. And I think my husband might still be in the chat. And if he is, he can remind me about the theme of the second one. Okay. But if but if not, I can tell you it was it will be the parent trap and another Disney theme that will be unveiled tonight at 730 right here on Laughing Place. Later this week, we'll have team members once again in the parks. We'll have some discussion of Marvel. Always lots going on around here on YouTube at Laughing Place, covering the Disney company keeps us all very busy. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> ah, there you go. The other one is Gideon's 3D attraction quiz. So that's what's happening tonight. So thank you all for joining us, and we will see you all real soon. Bye-bye.